was blood, and you had better get used to it. Without playing God, he's actually dead already, but there's plenty of support down here. Knight up and coming as well as Paris, they're looking oh, they for Bulldog here. Do they have detached? They do. And they do find him down there with Paris flying over the tree line. So that's actually a battle of Bulldog going down. Throws up the Orchid. That's not gonna save you there. Nice little pick out there. It's actually a lot of gold going away. Mid lane. Gold mid lane at the same time. Yeah. RK and Loda, they're fighting here, but the Winner's Curse comes out onto the Tiny. He's still alive though, being kept alive by Aki, but not enough. The Swarm might be able to clean up though. He does get the Earth, uh, does get the Earthshaker as well as Paris here on the back of that. So, losing three heroes all across the map, but they're making a 3 for 3 trade. Really quickly that the damage would have been too much for his spiders to handle and just got them out of there. This drop does here, there's a glimpse back, as well as the Stag Storm even committed here. They're using a lot to make sure that the Viper actually dies. Now, the rest of MFF, they have a little bit more room to play with here. But it looks like Alliance should be able to make it out alive. <laughs> An unfortunate sentry ward for Alliance. They drop it down, or at least Monkey Freedom Fighter sentry ward. They drop it to check the Spider or the Broodmother, and instead they find an Observer ward. <laughs> so they're not going to be able to deward that now. Oh man, he doesn't have Flame Gun up and running. He's silenced up, takes one left damage, but oh, nice Blinder Blast. Ash should bring down the Swapter down first, and the is four. Also very low as the Teleports come in, he will be able to get mad, as well as the Tower, but he will die at the same time. Relocate came in from Ake though, and they will finish off the Winter Wyvern with another Infest Spiderlings, whatever the, the hell that kills them. Coming from Alliance, they don't even need to relocate on top of their target. They can go a fair distance away and just look for those blinks, but... The, uh, another big thing here is they can look for and uh, toss back, but yeah, I'm in trouble now, Matt, though! Go Jumps right into the static storm, and now the Winter's Curse, do they have enough follow-up here? Loda dropping very low, but Aki is untouched in the back lines. He's tanking up so much, but with five heroes inside of MFF, there'll still be enough to bring him down. But at what cost? Bulldog is taking the tier two down bottom. And there's four, yeah, he has it. an Indusoon, he's coming in from behind, not quite sure if he can find an angle though. There's the buyback, now they want to take this fight. Minus are isolated on the wrong side of the map. He's, oh, Echo Slam actually committed, and he's still being kept alive by Ake. As Matt is out of mana now, Loda comes back in, that'll be a dead Ember spin for sure. They don't lose us another hero down there even. Actually, never mind, they, they lose us four. It's Necromander Doom dropped very, very low with the Doom committed as well. Yeah, Doom was committed. That will gimp you very heavily in the later parts of the game. Rax is up at sub 20 minutes are really sought after. See what's happening now here. Sing Sing, he does get the Doom onto load on the back of the Shadow Blade. He's actually even being blocked off by the Fissure, but Ake coming in here, healing him up, giving him extra movement speed. I might fall here with a zip in, but now Minus glimpses back mad. Ake might still die here to be night, and he will, but that's a small price to pay if you consider what's happening down in the bottom lane here. Paris come really helps, so more teleports have to come in. Bulldog dropping very low now, even they get the vision for the uh, for the Winter's Curse, but there was four hero, four hero rotation. You get two heroes across the map, which all things considered, great great for them, but they don't... weren't quite able to do so, and I don't Bulldog will leave some pretty empty handed. Yep. <laughs> they know them. There's a double stun here, plus the avalanche on two of them. They're dropping so low! Static Storm on top of them, glimpse back, should be there in time. Needs it, it needs it as well. On to Beaver Knight, back into the Loving Arms of four Alliance Heroes. Absolutely great count initiation there. Minot smelled that coming, even though they were smoked up and infused up. But Loda gets a jump on him anyway, and now oh. gets another two here with the Avalanche. There's a toss on top of them as well. Not quite as much growth as he didn't get the exact combo now. Ake actually has to do some work to keep him alive. As Matt comes in from the back here, zips in, focuses on Minas, he has his force, actually cleaning house. Paris next one to fall, Admiral Bulldog chases away Necroman, who's forced to teleport out. So only losing a disruptor here, and quite a lot, bunch of health points, all things considered, but gonna be happy with that. Pick up, as you mentioned, Ake, uh, the Air in our Shadows, not much more than that, actually the Glimmer Cape should be coming out pretty soon for him as well, in the mid lane. As Falls charging in here, and now they get the silence onto Paris and backline Bullock will clean him up. Meanwhile, Beaver Knight caught with a stun inside the Static Storm. Load on Ake, relocating in to bring down the Stoom. As 4 actually dies, denies himself at the last second. Now Necromant caught with a stun here. Yep, yep, so gets the extra Not really doing too much. And Loda doesn't have Yags yet, but he's still punching away. And that's enough to get them three kills for one. Mad, he has to get that out of here. Loda has another blink, gets the stun off here. Uh, a lot of damage going on from Mad here, has to spur it out, but it's on the wrong side of the map even. We'll chase yeah, him to the end of the chase. earth if they have to. Yeah. yeah, if they can get some vision on him, they can just glimpse him back. They actually put- Oh, oh man! He gets it! Wait, they get him! 
They That's get him. He's gonna go ahead and remnant back though. He should be fine. It's a little vision of him, but base to top off the HP. But this works really well too, and it means that uh, Monkey Freedom Fighters can't just push in and try to uh, take advantage of the lack of tiny. So. Really well played from Ake as they make their way up to the high ground again. Spork on the front line, see if they can get this on when Ake is there to try and help them out. Sanon's an Echo, nice ultimate here from Minas, catching Beaver Knight and Mad, who's being being bursted down. Nice Echo Slam though from Yatsu coming in from back, finishing up the Shrak, but it's only so much you can do. Bulldog here in front line, sees having no fear whatsoever right now. And the zip in comes from Mad, who wants to kill the spider, but he doesn't have the damage. Necromant coming in here to try and help, but that was a mistake here. He will fall immediately to the burst combo from the blinking and tiny. Now to Euros down, fight back on the episode, but that's about it. Glimpse back here outside of the bounds of the base here. Paris will keep himself alive a little bit with the Glimmer Cape, as well as the Oxy Burn, or at least try to here. As Admiral Bulldog though. Yeah, he's still alive though, thanks to the Cold Embrace, but he will finally fall. Mad, on one left alive, has to retreat here. Yep, three dead with no buyback, and the racks will just drop. Two alliance have the uh, capability of going after and contesting this Roshan, and oh man, ten seconds. Oh, there's a no glimpse back into this next one. Want to beat my knight? So we find us here, but the relocate comes in, and yeah, the sing sing. Not long for the world here, despite it. Or they just hit him with a tether, and he continues to hit the racks. There's very little they can actually do about this. Kind of have to do Maki at this point, right? I mean. He's the one that's know keeping him alive, do. but then as long as it's free to roll, Minus yeah. is free to drop his stuff. It's really it's hard. Red Herring right now. They're going to try to go in for the initiation, but they won't catch anyone. Now they glimpse back. Demon Knight actually walks right into it, and that's actually he's dropped the going down, but he only uses spells loader now. He's still less the ages, and nice Echo Slam here. And now if Ake dies, that's all of a sudden gets a little bit harder. Bull here tries to do it again and come off that BKB. S4 comes back, and that will be the. You have Shaker going down to suppress the them and they're getting through the winds. Paris will get caught. Save for Necroman who has that tiny, tiny stone. Actually, not that tiny at all. Gets back up and running. Mad signs up and still pretty fast. Not fast enough though for the Black <laughs> and Loda. Didn't actually have the Avalanche oh, no. cooldown and Bulldog just dies to the fountain. Oh my god. Oh, that, was, man, that was cheeky. <laughs> that was just silly. But yeah, what can I'm they do? Sure. I mean, they already took the Rex, the Range Rex now. Next one to fall. They can't actually take the top racks because the tier 2 is still running, so... Okay, so that was the fights. These are the biggest players. These guys are your cores, and they're the ones that need to make the perfect fight happen. Uh, Matt, he's just a little bit of follow-up damage, but I have to emphasize a little bit because that's all he is. He's not anything major at the moment. He's gonna need one or two more items before he even starts making a sizable impact. In fact, he could just be dead again here. Nope. Lona comes in, blinks across, has actually missed the avalanche. There's the BKB on top of the Doom, and he just doesn't care. He doesn't even have an Aegis now, or any help coming. <laughs> what? What is... <laughs> okay, Necroman gets isolated in the back here, trying to fight up as Lona finally decides that would be maybe a good idea to get that loud. Ake is there, and Desk got the relocate back to not even back to base, back up top, and the fight rages on. S4 still feeding house. We are down already. Bulldog there does have a basher, <laughs> and that'll yes. be the Emersburg going down. Beaver Knight next. I think no buybacks, and this is GG just like that. Didn't even need the Aegis. No one was just like, hey, yeah. <laughs> look at me, try to kill me. I dare you. Well, that was exactly going back to what we were talking about earlier. No, no matter what they do, right? If they drop the doom on Loda, the Io just comes in, Ake just comes and saves him. So they really did not have a good target for the Doom, but that was as good as ever they could have taken. And unfortunately, they make a fatal mistake trying to defend their Tier 2 tower.